Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. We've got a new one for you today. It's a Headcore 111. This one is bridging the gap between the 105 and the 117. Uh, couple, and it, this thing gets all the upgrades that the rest of the core skis get. So a new model, you will notice the difference between uh, the outgoing ski because there isn't one. So this new model kind of fits that uh, free ride aspect without being, you know, a true powder ski uh, like the 117. Uh, built with a poplar and Karuba wood core like the other core skis, that Karuba is nice and light, but the poplar gives the ski its stability and dampness. Two sheets of fiberglass, two sheets of carbon. The second sheet of carbon, the one that's on top, extends out and over the edges and that adds a third dimension to that top laminate and that is what gives these core skis their liveliness and energy. It's just an incredibly stiff ski for, uh, for its weight and for, uh, for other skis as well, even skis with two sheets of metal that, you know, they don't quite hand flex like this. Um, so we're definitely seeing a lot of responsiveness, you know, that light weight to high stiffness ratio means that each and every you know, amount of energy that you put into this ski gets translated directly into performance. So that's good news for advanced and expert skiers who know how to utilize the full potential of a ski. Uh, 111 millimeters underfoot, uh, this is the 184, generates a 21.1 meter turn radius, which is pretty straight. So as we get wider in these course, course series skis, we're seeing longer turn shapes, we're seeing increased taper and rocker, um, and that's just kind of pushing things towards the free ride and powder end of the spectrum. So in terms of that profile and shape, you know, we still have some good camber underfoot, uh, helps with edge grip in technical terrain. I mean, these are definitely meant to be used in some pretty sketchy spots. Uh, you'll be able to make a lot of incredible turns, even though, um, you know, the terrain might be a little sketchy, which is part of the fun. But we do see an increased taper shape, so that wider point of the ski drops down a little bit. And, you know, more powder and width appropriate rocker profile as well. So these things will stay on top of quite a bit of fresh snow, not just due to this taper and rocker profile and shape, but also that increased width. So we see that really low taper here, so definitely extends into the ski. Low, long rocker on the tail of the ski. Um, that's going to give this thing uh, definitely more playfulness, smeary, you know, skid your turns, all, all, all sorts of fun stuff in the softer snow, while still retaining that energy and edge grip due to the stiffness of the ski and that application of carbon. So we are seeing quite a bit of versatility for these 111s, even though they have that longer turn shape, they do want to go straight. Uh, the lightweight and the, um, you know, the, I'm sorry, the, the tightness of the, of the ski and how stiff it is do make it, you know, easier to turn, even if that uh, turn radius is pretty long. So, you know, it's not difficult to get from edge to edge due to the lightweight nature of the ski. Uh, as a result of all this, plus the shape, we're definitely pegging this more towards the advanced and expert crowd. Um, although an intermediate skier who's looking to ski mostly powder, um, you know, is certainly able to access this. But due to the combination of the stiffness and the lightweight, you know, the expert that knows how to use a ski is definitely going to get, uh, be able to access all the performance out of this. Um, and then due to the lightweight, we're also looking at this for that more, you know, you, you know backcountry potential, touring potential of this ski. Um, so if you're into that, you're looking for, you know, a lighter weight ski that's on the free ride end of the spectrum, uh, this would be a good option for that as well. So really well-rounded, really fun new ski from Head uh, with those construction upgrades that we see in the other core line, uh, other skis in the core line. I think this 111 is going to do really well this year. Um, so that's it. That's the all-new 2022 Headcore 111. Check this thing out at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.